fabric because you want to go in the fabric, you got to put spray mount on the platen. And this is something that you, you know, the spray mount, you don't want to get it in the screen because it'll plug up the screen. Um, how much spray mount you put on and how often you put spray mount on is something that you just kind of figure out. Like if you print a shirt and it kind of pulls up as you're pulling it up, then you go, oh, I need some more spray mount. When you do it, when you do it, you know, when you do it like a machine, every 10, every 12, you spray. You know, you just figure it out. Um, but we'll just kind of play with it here. What happens if you don't do the spray mount? Then the shirt pulls up with the screen, uh -huh. goes up with the screen, and then that um, is going to probably get ink on your uh, stencil and your stencil shot. So you always want to um, spray your platen. But you can, you, it goes, a little goes a long way. And the problem is you don't want to stretch, this is like the first time you spray it, this is what's a bummer about spray mount is you don't want to stretch the shirt because then when you take the design off then it, the shirt goes back to where it's supposed to be. So you want to make sure that your shirt is, you know, but it's, it needs to be flat, even, equal. Okay, so we're getting ready to print and what that means is that I'm going to print, uh, I'm going to go ahead and print all of these green ones that are right here and what that'll do is that'll get um, that'll get everything going good and then you'll come up here and print your own and um, usually what you do is you want to get uh, you want to get set up like what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this I'm going to pull it all the way to the edge here I'm going to get my shirts and I'm going to put my, all my shirts In a pile right here. Is, this one as well? yeah. is that one yours? Uh, sure. Okay, he's going to use that one. He's going to print that one. Okay, and they're starting all this. Yeah, well, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, you know, I'll print these and then I'll let y'all bring your stack or whatever and print yours. Okay, so we're going with blue ink. And I make, I uh, get mat board scraps. Um, it's handy to um, scoop stuff out with. Um, as you're printing, it's, it's ink, it's not paint. Um, the difference between ink and paint is uh, really consistency. Okay, so when I'm looking at this, I'm seeing right here that this is going to, um, the stencil is hanging off the back here see it dangling down there and and there's no platen underneath it so and that's where my squeegee's going to always be so that's not good at all so you know I could change the position of it or at least what I need to do is I'm going to go ahead and tape that underneath there because I want to make sure that that is not going to come down so um, now this is these are uh, little this is, these are things you need to think about when you're designing it. If you let go for just a second, is you know that that's really cool that I can let that go, put that all the way up. I can't do that once it's full of ink because it's all going to go rolling out. But that's one of the handy things about um, you'll you'll notice on the paper one we have a little kickstand which is pretty handy. Once again, how are you going to do this when you're all by yourself is the big question. I don't want to do too much. Uh, there we go. Probably could have used another. Uh, I don't want to put masking tape on this because then that gets all gummy. That gets in my screen and gets all gummy. So I've just got to be real careful and put that back down. And you know, you, you smooth it. Looks good. Okay. Now I've got. I've got a. a protection there. Anytime something starts leaking, you want your masking tape close at hand that you can block it out. Um, and then how much ink do you put in? Not too much, not too little. If you put too much, then when you lift it up, it, it, it you know, um, you'll just figure it out by, uh, but you need to have enough. You need to have enough to print two or three times, you know, you need to have enough to go back and fill it in as well after you have, um, OK, 
Okay, um, it doesn't take a lot of ink, but you need to have enough ink to go back and coat it back over. If this is air dry ink, so you got to close everything up. The biggest problem is, okay, I got some on my hand now. You know, if I don't, the nice thing is air dry ink, you just do that and it's dry. Oil based ink, you got to have a rag because otherwise you're going to get that ink all over your shirt. All, every shirt as you're touching it right here, you know. But I just did that and I dried it. If I wanted to, I could spit on it. Um, you want a 45 degree angle on your squeegee when you're coating it. Now I'm just coating it and then I'm going to go back and print it. Because the first one, I really need to have a um, good, and I'm, I, you can go back more than once. Um, it's not, you can't, not once you've picked it up, but then I've got to stand it up straight because here's my design right here, okay? And then when I pull it up, I got to go back lightly and coat it. And I didn't have enough ink right there, okay? I want, I have to get that whole area coated, so I got to go back and put a little bit more weight on it. So I'm going to go ahead and, if, you know, if I'm by myself, then what I do is I leave that like that. Or I take this and I go up here and I've got, you know, something that I put this on. And then this is the example of that, that look that you wanted so desperately. Because I didn't get enough ink on it because it's my first print. So I can't go back. And the first one's going to be hard to pull off anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and just... Every time you use the... Um, and it looks a little bit warped right now, but once I hang it up it'll be fine. Every time you use the spray mount, it gets a little bit easier to put it on. And on.